All right, guys, this is going to be my last installment on the concrete project. Just sort of wrap it up. Anything I get into, I kind of get over carried away with it. This happens to be a picnic table based on four by fours here, treated. And I wanted to, I just hosed the table off because it was uh, dusty and had a little bird business on it. So I wanted to get that off there and let you guys see the color that's in it there. But yeah, that makes a, uh, a pretty nice one. I'm going to take you guys inside and show you these tables here. Now that's the rock edge, obviously. All right, excuse the camera work here. Give me two seconds here. And the door. And uh, now here's a pedestal. And that pedestal is poured in a piece of five inch PVC with a boot at the top. And then I poured a base like that there. Let's see if I can give you a shot of the whole table, basically here. I want you to see the colors and the water mark, marks in this. Kind of looks like oxidized, I don't know, maybe oxidized uh, copper or rock or something. Here's a decorative top. And a new little pedestal here. This thing's hard to get to focus. There's just a little table that uh, was in the trash heap and I decided to pull it out and uh, salvage it, straighten it out and come out all right. But anyway, so there's a couple more of the concrete tables and I got one more shot of some something I made out of concrete. And see that little base there? That's made out of pine. And I, I don't know, I guess you call it age that or distress that or crackle painted it. Just as a little experiment on that. Excuse my camera work again. Parts of the house I'm trying not to reveal here. So, and then I took a picnic table. And I took that picnic table and I, I cut it in half. And that's a concrete entertainment center. <laughs> yeah, so that's concrete edges. And then those are the round rods poured and three inch support. And that. that's a picnic table that you've seen outside cut in half and stained in a dark color. Okay, going back to the tables, camera covered. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted you guys to get a shot of that and see that and uh, see what's possible with it. It sure is a good idea for walls. It's a good idea for steps out in front of the house. Uh, it's a good idea for uh, fake chimneys and fake stuff around rocket stoves. Uh, that's what I've been uh, really learning how to use it for to be able to make it, you know, use this as a, a decorative uh, portion of uh, putting putting my stoves in hearths and uh, encasing them and uh, whatever, right? I just think I might be able to incorporate this into it. So, okay, guys, well, thanks for watching my uh, concrete experiments.